Okay, so it's week two on the wheel horse, and we have some parts. Um, I ordered a whole new plate for the front here, but I'm going to try not to have to pull this off, um, because then I need to order the, the shims that go behind this. This sets the back spacing on the crank by the number of shims that are on the back. So I'd have to pull this off, figure out the shims that are on there, and then order parts. So what I'm going to attempt to do is drill and tap this so that I can... Uh, not pull this plate off. So we uh, got to drill and tap um, and we'll uh, see how this goes. Um, and I have the manual so I better set it exactly hopefully like it's supposed to be set. <laughs> so here goes nothing. Yeah, it's cutting. Let me back it off a bit. Good morning. It's actually been uh, about 14 hours since our first part. Um, I didn't record it, but I'll, I'll tell you what we did. We eyeballed this as a, what, a 3 8 um, and this bolt here is actually a 7 16 So we had to re-drill it. We didn't have a tap for 7 16 so we went to AutoZone, who sells the world's worst tap set. Um, instead of having four grooves, it has three, and their holder was bad and it wasn't a quarter inch shank on the ends it was almost a quarter inch shank so I had to file it down to fit a quarter inch piece so I could it was just a pain in the neck um, but it's in there so that's good so now this needs to be one and thirteen sixteenths from the engine face so I gotta back this off a little bit Do one turn and see what that is. It's about one and three quarters. One more. I don't know. That's not a lot of meat. I'm gonna do yeah. one, one more in at least. So instead of 13 sixteenths, I'm like one and three quarters. Mm -hmm. We'll see how that works out. And if we have to undo it all again. Um, so that's the first piece. Uh, we're going to put some bearing grease on here. And get all of our parts together. Okay, so the next part that goes in will be a keyway. Slide all the way to the back. That, a little bit of grease on it. And then oh, the bearing carrier. Get lined up. Keyway straight up. Uh, not quite Just straight. slight. Okay. Like that. Bearing spins good. And I didn't replace the clutch facings now. Um, this isn't hard to take apart. We'll do it off season. I want to get things going. And grab me the, uh, nope. Yep. Okay, next part, one piece at a time. I need the top piece here. Hold that. Okay, so next is the, um, the brackets. And I'm going to fish these in. Ok, 
Okay, so it seems to be easier to put the shaft on, or put the uh, bars on if you slide your bearing carrier forward. Get the clearance you need to get it onto the piece. Okay, other levers that go in. pin down below. Okay, so we're ready to put the pulley on. We're going to line this up, um, the keyway, with the existing keyway, slide it over the brake. The brake is free, but put bolted on. We'll adjust the brake afterwards. So you got to slide the back of the pulley over that. Line up the keyway. Yep. Line the keyway up. Like that. And put the nut in the front. And tighten that down. So we'll do that. We'll get um, disengage the clutch point. Okay. Five eighths. We have a winner. Belt on, top first, bring it down, and ride it over that pulley. So you look at the top and up in the bottom. Almost there. Okay. And it's on. Last time I did that one.
Okay, so as you can see it works. Um, we need to get a new PTO coupler now. The ball bearings came out of it. Or we need to get ball bearings and put them in. Uh, and, uh, but we're taking this off anyways. This is mostly just a test that clutch. Figuring this was much more rigorous than mowing will be. Uh, so we're going to take the, the tiller off, put the deck on. We have a new belt for the deck. So we're going to go do that now and, uh, and have some fun before it rains. So, till next time. Thanks for watching.